Okay, so it always gets a little bit tricky when it's time to start charging money for your photography work. So in today's video, I'm basically gonna give you a simple and easy pricing structure that you can use when you decide to start charging for jobs. And this to kind of give you an idea of how you should go about setting your prices. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what to set your prices at because that's all gonna depend upon you and your skill level. But what I am gonna do is give you a super simple strategy that you can use when it's time to start charging your clients for your photo work. So let's just jump into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, like I said, we are gonna be talking about some simple strategies that you can use when it comes to pricing out your photography. Now, when it comes to figuring out exactly how much you should charge, once again, that's gonna be relative. That's gonna be relative to your skill level and it's gonna be relative to your area and your market. But regardless of whatever those prices may be, today I'm gonna to show you some simple strategies that you can use when it comes to actually charging your clients, knowing how to charge them, knowing how to bill them, and also figuring out different ways that you can take a simple job and you know, maybe take a $200 job and turn it into a $1,000 job. Now, when it comes to charging for your photography, it's all gonna depend on the type of photography that you're doing. For example, if you're doing something like family portraits or you're doing a wedding, something along those lines, that pricing is gonna be different because you're selling to consumers. Now, and on the flip side of things, if you're selling to a business, depending on the project and depending on how that final image is gonna be used is also gonna help in determining what you should be charging. Let's say you're doing portraits or you're doing weddings, okay? When it comes to something like this, you're gonna be basically charging a flat fee. That fee is gonna be your exchange of time for you know whatever type of session that you're doing. So an easy example of that could be, let's say that you're doing a portrait session, okay? And you say, all right, I'm gonna charge you guys 250, you know, that'd be me coming and taking pictures for about an hour or so. And then you're gonna take those pictures, edit them up and deliver them to, you know, the client. Now, basically that's how charging a flat fee works. Okay, it's also the same, like, let's just say, for example, you were doing a wedding, you know, somebody wants to, to hire you. So you charge them $1,000 to come out, shoot the wedding and give them pictures, you know, all digitally. And that's basically the way that that pricing is gonna work. But now let's say you wanna take that job and scale it up, okay? So what you're gonna need at that point is what's called an upsell. So for example, let's go back to the family portraits. So you charge, you know, 200, 250 bucks to do these family portraits, right? So you charge the money, you go back, you edit up the photos, bada bing, bada boom. So if you wanted to upsell them, your next option would be to sell tangible items. Let's say for example, you did the portrait session for 250 bucks. Okay, but then you say, you know what, I'll give you all the files digitally, right? Now, let's say you wanna charge an extra 50 bucks and you'll give them a bunch of prints, right? Now, they may want them, they may not, but that's something that you can charge as an option. The next option would be doing something like a large print. So, like, let's say they have one picture that they really love and instead of just giving it to them so they can share it on social media or, you know, send it to their friends via a text message or whatever the case may be, right? What you could do is you can get them a nice print, say like a 16 by 20 in a nice frame. And for something like that, you can charge upwards of a couple hundred dollars because keep in mind, you're gonna be the one, you know, printing out the image, you're gonna be the one getting it framed and you're gonna present it to them. So let's say all of that costs you like $300, well, you could turn around and charge them $600. Now that may seem like a lot of money, it may not seem like a lot of money depending on where you're at, but the reason that you can charge that is because the image, the value of the image is tied to the owner. So for that portrait session example, the value of that image to those people, right, who you took the portraits of is gonna be way higher than if you were to just like, you know, bring it to some random person and was like, hey, you wanna buy a picture of this family? And the same is true for weddings. So let's go back to that $1,000 wedding example, right? So you charge $1,000, you're gonna give them all the prints digitally, right? Okay, now let's say that they want prints, right? I said prints, I meant images. But let's say that they want prints. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna charge them an additional fee to give them prints. And you can vary them by size. That's gonna be up to you and up to your client as well. One of the other things that you can do is you can create an album for them, okay? So yes, there's a lot of technology out there right now where people can do it themselves. But 
at the end of the day, people usually like help and they want you to help them out and it's going above and beyond. So, you know, that album can charge them, you know, another 500 to 1000 to $2,000 for that album. So now you took a potential job that was $1,000 and you scaled it up to 2000 whether you're selling them an album, whether you're doing them a book or something like that parent albums, you're giving them prints, maybe you give them a print that's framed, something along those lines. And so what you're actually doing is you have a flat fee, right? So you say a thousand for the wedding, 250 for the portrait session, and then you're upselling them with the tangible items on the back end. And that's how you basically take a simple job, say like a portrait session, and you turn that job from $200 into $1,000 potentially. Now the next type of pricing is gonna be whether you're selling an image to a business or not, okay? So in the first uh, example, we were selling it to a client, right? And the value of that image is tied to the client themselves. But now we're selling it to a business and the value of the image you know, is kind of, you know, it's tied to the business, but it's also tied to the response they want that image to have. So that's a tricky way of saying it, but let's say basically you're shooting, you know, um, an advertisement, right, for a clothing brand, okay? So the value of that image, right, might be way more or, you know, way less depending on how many sales they get off of that image or how they choose to use that image. Are they gonna use it for marketing? Are they gonna be putting it in magazines? Are they gonna be putting it online? So let's just jump into it. So remember, we're basically just trying to keep this simple, right? So let's just say you're not shooting for high-end you know, companies right now. Maybe you're doing some small mom and pops. Maybe you're doing some local publications or some national publications. And basically this is how you keep it straightforward. So the model is gonna work the same. Basically, you're gonna have a flat fee, right? So your fee could be say $300, right? To come out and you know do photos for like up to two or three hours or whatever the case may be. That's gonna be up to you to determine. Now the difference is, is that when it comes to certain types of images, say if this image is gonna be for a magazine or for a newspaper, right? It's some type of advertisement, okay? The value of the image is gonna be how they choose to use it. So now you're getting into a different game where basically you're licensing the use of that image. You are granting the company or that company that is paying you to create this image, you're granting them permission to use this license or to use this image uh, via your license and market it how they see fit. So I know that sound like a whole lot of mumble jumble mess, but let me try to uh, bring it back. So first of all, we're charging our flat fee. So let's just say our flat fee is $300. Now the next thing that we're gonna charge is for a license, right? We're not, you know, we're charging for the image, but the image, you know, is tied to the license. So we're charging for a license. So let's just say to make it easy, you're doing, you know, photos for a clothing brand, okay? And this clothing brand wants to take this image and they wanna put it into a magazine. So now at that point, it's a license that you're charging and a license is the usage, right? And the usage usually depends on, you know, how many eyeballs are seeing this, what's their distribution like? So if it's 30,000 people seeing it, you might charge them $300 for that one image or maybe a group of images that's gonna depend on you. And the example is basically gonna keep going up from there. So the bigger the distribution, the bigger the platform, the more exposure that that image is gonna get, the more that usage license is gonna cost. But if you're just working with mom and pop shops, they're probably not gonna have any type of concept of this. So essentially you're gonna charge them a flat fee the same way you do, you know, or you would with the portrait session, except, you know, you might just charge them more money because it's business. So, you know, portrait session, you might charge a family 200 bucks. And for these guys, you might charge them 500 bucks. Okay. It's just all going to depend, but usually for a mom and pop type of shop, you're going to charge more money than you would maybe say, you know, a family who wants some nice pictures together. Now, for the most part, every industry is going to have their different type of nuance, you know, say for example, like you're doing real estate. Okay. Now for real estate, from my experience, and it could be different from other photographers, basically, you know, the realtors charge you a flat fee depending on, you know, the job that you're doing. So say they charge you or say they'll pay you, ex uh, excuse me, $150 to do a house. And then basically maybe that's because that's what the real, you know, their realty company is going to give them back. So, you know, it's a super easy job. You just go in there, you take some photos, you know, you throw your little edits on it, bada bing, bada boom, and it's off and running. Now, if they're going to use those 
pictures in a magazine, that's a whole different story. But the moral of the story is whatever industry you're in, whatever game that you're in, you have to learn to play that game. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I try not to get too complicated with it, but that's basically some simple strategies that you can use when it comes to charging your clients for work and uh, hopefully that helps you moving forward in the future. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful and if so, give it a like, drop me a comment, let me know what's going on with you right now and your creative journey. And for all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live, this is your man, Jonathan Moore, and I'm signing out. Peace.